What is going on guys? We are starting off the video here. We are back in Florida. So it's been a crazy, just past few months really in general. But uh, we are back in Florida. Um, Mustang week coming up. We have the Dino Day at Let's Go Automotive. Uh, we are going to be doing a show me thing there. Uh, Dino in cars, stuff like that. Uh, I have info down in the description of Mustang week. We have our meet Friday. Um, at Mustang Week as well. That's the big one. We'll have merchandise there. We're gonna have the bullet there. Haven't figured out exactly. You guys will figure out tomorrow why. Um, but tomorrow, which car we're taking because GT500 is going under the knife. And as long as everything goes good with that, we'll bring it. But, you know, working on cars and nothing ever goes perfect. But we have uh, some really good guys working on it. So, this video, we are going to talk about my 2000 Mustang GT and the full story on buying that car. Should be a fun one. So, Definitely uh, buckle in and uh, we'll start from the beginning and uh, work our way through. We are also uh, starting up 20 times entries on the bullet. We're just going to run it to the end of the giveaway and uh, you guys will get a really good opportunity to win a very cool car. 550 crank horsepower, 470 or 80 wheel horsepower, turbo, two valve with a lot of potential. It's been 10s and uh, every $5 you spend on the website gets you an entry. It supports this channel and everything we do, bringing you content also really helps out i have a lot of stuff going on a lot of big moves and um your support there means a lot and uh, youtube ad revenue has not been uh paying out too well but you know uh that stuff's helped keeping it afloat along with freedom parts outlet and all that stuff so i want to thank you guys for supporting it and i can't wait to see the giveaway winners uh face um when they take a delivery of a uh, turbo bullet with a lot of character all right, let's talk about my 2000 Mustang GT. This is my very first car. So we need to go back to um, before uh, I even had my driver's license, I started making YouTube videos. Um, I started making YouTube videos about iPhones. Oh, that thunder sounds pretty gnarly. Um, I started making YouTube videos about iPhones. Hey guys, it's Mr. AJ's Tech here, and today I'm gonna be going over the iPad 3. So uh, recently, Apple actually posted a uh, little uh, teaser image so that you could uh, see that the iPad 3 will be the uh, topic on March 7th and there will be a keynote on it. So uh, if you look over here, you can see that there's an image showing what they actually How to jailbreak, how to modify uh, your iPhones. I started doing product reviews. Um, I started getting paid ad revenue as well. Um, and I also started up a, a company that ported uh, Siri, uh, a software application, over to the older devices. iPhone 4S was the current device, iPhone 4 was the old one, iPad first generation versus second generation, stuff like that. Um, we were able to port Siri over to the other stuff along with uh, some fellow uh, developers and uh, kids, really, we were kids. I was 13 years old, 14 years old, um, running a company and uh, stuff ended up happening. You know, I had um, thirty thousand dollars in my PayPal account, um, and I didn't have a bank account. You know, I uh, lied about my age. You know, so I had thirty thousand dollars in my PayPal account, but I also had like five thousand dollars a month server bills. So I did a lot of different things and made a lot of uh, mistakes, but also a lot of good things um, back in the day um, with running businesses as a 13, 14 year old entrepreneur learning how to use the internet and making work, things work. So why is that relevant? Well, uh, because uh, I started watching uh, you know, some other things, wanted to get my license. Well, obviously I was gonna get my license as soon as possible, so I needed to get my permit. And I wanted a cool car. I've always been into cars, but I wasn't really that knowledgeable about cars. I looked at a Subaru WRX. I looked at a brand new 2013-14 Mustang V6 that I was gonna try to buy cash, uh, V6 Mustang. And uh, I looked at a Focus ST, Volkswagen Beetle, yeah. Um, I also looked at an 07 V6 Mustang, and um, yeah, so I had a lot of choices. My mom uh, said, absolutely not, you're not buying a Mustang, you're gonna wrap around telephone pole, it's too dangerous, not good in snow, blah, blah, blah. I didn't really care. Um, so I was constantly searching and, um, you know, you know, being a 16 year old um, without a license and without driving stick, um, I did rely on, although I had the money to go purchase a vehicle, I did rely on my parents because I needed a ride to go there and I also can't buy that by myself. And, you know, so 
I ended up having a um, cousin drive me out to go look at this car, 2000 Mustang GT Silver. Um, had a big hood on it, side exhaust, um, you know, stuff that I didn't know at the time what it meant. Um, but I went out and looked at the car and I put a $2,000 deposit on it pretty much right away and uh, I bought it. So, you know, I didn't have my license. I didn't know how to drive stick. My cousin, you know, drove me there, drove me to the bank, got cash, gave it to them. And I had to break the news to my parents. They made me wait a whole two weeks to go ahead and pick up this car. You know, my mom was like, you're going to pay for gas and you're going to pay for insurance and, you know, stuff like that. And I was like, all right, but yeah, I got the car. So, um, and that started pretty much everything, you know, my love for Mustangs and cars and, you know, it ended up uh, being like, I, I really love this car, you know, bring it to school, um, high school, I went to an all boys uh, high school, you know, so we, you know, cars and stuff like that, you know, it was cool to have a, uh, you know, a cool car at the time and, you know, pull up and loud Mustang. Um, but it did end up uh, causing some issues because the two valve uh, started knocking and I didn't know what that meant at the time, but uh, it had a uh, rod bearing issue. Um, which I know now uh, but we ended up doing a Cobra swap I actually met Ashley the day after I got my license in that car I went to Ashley's house because Ashley's sister had invited me over long story but uh, we can get into that another day but basically I met Ashley the day after I got my license when I had that Mustang and uh, made some sort of excuse to hang out with her like another day because of the Mustang so it was Super cool, Ashley. Obviously, uh, we're engaged now, eight years later. Um, so uh, the car has a lot of history. You know, I took it to you know prom and different dances. Took it to school. Started you know racing some people. Met some friends. Uh, my friend Shane up there. You know Matt. Um, you know when I had this car, it's it's just. There's a lot of history with it, and then uh, when the engine blew, it kind of sucked because I didn't know what to do. Started working on cars with Ashley's dad because he's a mechanic, and uh, we uh, ended up doing a Cobra swap. Well, actually, first we did timing chains on the two valve, thinking that it was timing chain slap. Um, that didn't fix it. So then we, I found a four six two valve NPI um, entire engine. And I ended up buying that and then I flipped all the stuff and then I ended up buying a 99 Cobra complete engine to do a Cobra swap in a car that I didn't know how to work on. So I was still learning all this process and I was reading modded Mustangs uh, forum back in the day on uh, you know how to do this four valve swap. I talked to this guy Brian in New York. He, I bought a JLT cold air intake from him. I learned uh, a lot of stuff from him, you know, swapping the polarity on the coil packs, the alternator, extending wires, um, learned all that stuff about the uh, co Cobra swap. We ended up taking the car out, getting it finished, taking it out and didn't burp the four valve uh, cooling system correctly and burnt head gaskets literally instantly um, because with a four valve you fill through the coolant reservoir, uh, through the coolant crossover, not the reservoir. Essentially, you got a big air bubble, baked head gaskets out of it, pulled the engine back out, head gaskets, put it back in, and um, then, you know, the car was running again. But um, it did uh, have like little issues here and there after the swap, and you know, I was finishing up high school, getting ready to graduate, and I knew I was going to Florida uh, to go to college. Um, which obviously that ended up happening and I was a little concerned. I'm like, okay, the car's running good But like if I drive this car to Florida, I'm not gonna have anyone to work on the car with nowhere to work on it You know, I don't want to pay a shop uh, to work on it and I was getting really concerned about that so I went ahead and listed the car for sale um, Nick who is the new owner of the car um, bought it back then um, he loves the car, loved the car then, and uh, he, uh, he did end up doing a few engine swaps with it and then, you know, put some boost on it at some point, but ever since then, the side exhaust on that car and just the character of that car um, just stuck with me. Oh my 
God. I've had a lot of cars with this. It's the car that the first car you know uh, that I purchased um, my first manual car learned on it Ashley learned to drive on it you know uh, first car I started working on first car I had on a dyno I thought it was the coolest thing ever you know shout out to Pete uh, performance dyno in New Hampshire he tuned the car I think that's the tune that's still on it So there's a lot of history going back with uh, with that car, and I'm so excited to have it back. Um, I do want to talk uh, probably in another video, kind of my plans on the builds, but um, you know the car runs and drives. And it's in Rhode Island currently. Um, I don't know if I'm going to bring it down here for the winter or not, um, but uh, the goal is keep this car forever and just clean it up you know there's cracked side skirt you know some of the paint isn't the best like it used to be the seats are torn you know there's certain things and that i want to change the wheels so badly i'm not a fan of them um i did like them at the time when i had the car i thought they were the coolest thing ever um so i'm going to change that i i i'm not a big fan of like uh putting cover badges on the gt you know nick did it i you know i don't really blame him um, you know, and he can kind of, you know, do whatever we want. It was his car. Um, but I think I'll put a pony badge back on the side, put a pony up front, you know. There's a lot of little things the car needs, but it does drive fantastic. It's super smooth. The suspension's tight. Um, the engine seems healthy. The trans shift's good. So the major things are there. Um, so just really cosmetic things. I was thinking about doing this car as like doing my first bagged car. I think it'd be super cool to have the adjustability to go up and down, especially with the side exhaust being so close to the ground. Um, maybe do some headers on it, some different wheels, obviously, and just really clean up the car. So I hope that fills you in. I'm gonna put some pictures and some videos of some memories with the car. Um Two thousand Mustang GT with a ninety nine Cobra engine in it. I'm just going to start it up.
Um, one of the coolest ones is uh, just uh, taking, you know, I, I took the car to a car show, Mustangs of Massachusetts. Um, you know, I met all those guys uh, out there with that car. And uh, so there was Ainsel and Gabe and, um, you know, a bunch of those guys that I met there, Larry and, you know, all those guys. So I met all those guys, uh, Mustangs in Massachusetts, you know, back then, that was like 2013, 2014. Guess what rolls up? A 2013 GT500. I thought that was the craziest car at the time. And, you know, there was another time where I parked this car next to a 04, 0304 Cobra Silver Terminator convertible. That was the coolest thing ever. I got a bunch of pictures of two cars next to each other. I find it so crazy that like, I now own the 2014 GT500, 1300 wheel horsepower monster, and 04 Cobra, it is Coyote Swap, but who cares? You know, and the original car, and I own an 07 GT500. Like, the, and a GT350R. The, it's crazy, the car collection that I have, and what really sprang off of um, not listening to my parents. So maybe that's the lesson here. Don't listen to your parents for everything. Listen to your parents for the important stuff, but sometimes you need to make your own decisions, and uh, I made my own decision to buy a car. You know, I did end up spending a lot of money, um, you know, fixing it up and doing different things, and, you know, I kind of learned the value of money because, you know, at the time, you know, I had made so much money, no bills, you know, no rent. Obviously, I was, a, you know, 13, 16 year old, you know, living with my parents, um, and then kind of learned a lot about, you know, businesses, how quickly, you know, money can go, spending things, and just, you know, working on cars and all that stuff. So I learned so much with that car, and when I sold it, I just missed it. The side exhaust on it is so freaking cool. Um, I haven't been able to uh, find anything else that's anything like that. So being in that car, driving the other day was awesome. So if you guys have any questions, leave them down in the comment section down below. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video. I know it's just mostly talking, but um, I am really excited to get back up there. If you guys are in the area, have some parts or something that you want to, um, you know, sell me or whatever um, up in the area, or you want to trade the wheels or anything like that, just let me know. Um, I'd like to put probably a Pro Charger kit on this car at some point. So. Yeah, uh, make sure you slap the like button down below. Get entered for the bullet giveaway. Um, some of you guys might be thinking, are you gonna regret getting rid of the bullet? Um, I don't think I will at this current moment. I'm, I have memories with the car. It's gonna be sad to see it go, um, but sometimes I gotta make some sacrifices for like the 07 GT500 that I ended up buying, which is the reason why you know I ended up deciding to do the giveaway on that. I just need to make some space for some different things. But we will see you guys in the next one. I'm going to work on getting this video up tomorrow. Big one, Motec. If you know, you know. If you don't, you'll find out tomorrow. But it's going to be awesome. So we'll see you guys in the next one.